Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo got into it today at the press conference. Now Oscar has several things to say. Uh, fair use. I'm going to let the video play. Again, fair use. We know how YouTube can be, and this audio isn't actually from YouTube itself. seems to have trouble remembering who helped him become a true global star. To be clear, I have nothing but respect for Canelo. His record and abilities speak for themselves. That's true. But he is a legend. He the last two months insulting me rather than promoting this fight. So I'll make it a little bit easier for him. Yes, I have faced a lot of challenges in my life. Yes, I've been to rehab several times. Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We all fight demons. points in my life. And yes, there were times that work was not my priority based on my mental health, which I had neglected for so long. But that doesn't change the fact that Golden Boy built for them all over his period. The company you fought under for, for, for decades has always had one name, and it's mine. So put some fucking respect on it. Oh, wow. Now, that comes from Oscar. It was obviously Canelo's biggest promoter. This is when Oscar was the biggest promoter in sports. Him with Al Heyman being an advisor. They had everybody. Wilder, Charlos, Adrian Broner, so on and so forth. Well, Oscar has been battling demons. Um, as he, Of course, he had pictures leaked out, what, 10, 12, well, longer than that, years and years ago. And, you know, he's had his own battles, you know, with drugs and other things. And this ain't no secret. This is he had a whole HBO documentary about it. Well, in that time, Canelo had his biggest fight with Floyd, but Oscar couldn't attend because he was battling rehab. And then after that, I think uh, Canelo stayed for a little while and he was gone. And after that, he started he started being a free agent. And that's when he started getting that real cheddar. But um, Canelo's called Oscar like a basically a, a drug user and. He, they don't really respect each other anymore or like each other. So this is where the backstory comes in. Now, look, I don't know what really happened. They both hundred millionaires. But, you know, it's good. It's good entertainment, you know, and you see that Canelo got up and started walking towards Oscar. And, you know, of course, bodyguards in a way Oscar was standing up. He sat down. Of course, I don't think that's going to happen. Both of those guys are professionals, but it just goes to show you. The bad blood that's still there. I'm sure Oscar still feels some kind of way because of what Al Heyman and Richard Schaefer did. Again, he had everybody, everybody. Go back and look at 2013, 2014, 2015. No, 2013. I would say what? Between 2010 and 2013, 14, he had everybody was under Golden Boy. And then next thing you know, Canelo was the only one there. And he says that he could have left, but he regretted leave. He he regretted staying, and so you know now Oscar just has a couple of big time fighters: who Ryan Garcia, Jaime Mogia, who else? Virgil Ortiz, I believe. That's really it that I know of. Let me know in the chat if it's more people, but you know they ain't, they ain't, ain't nothing gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely bad blood there. I'm sure they'll get past it at some point. You know, but it's definitely some uh, unfinished business between them two. But hey, it's good entertainment. You know, the fight coming up. You know, I want to personally see Canelo fight Benavidez, but clearly that's not going to happen this year. As Canelo told him, basically, he's going to have to wait his turn until I get ready. So whatever, you know, this all could be to hype the fight up. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.